your kiss Turn me to stone I'd be a statue standing tall in ancient Rome And if your touch shattered me like glass I'd be in pieces trying to make the breaking last if it took one look to turn my days to night At least I'd have the stars that sparkle in your eyes There's just some things that leave a man no choice Like a compass needle needing its true north Get your perfect wrong And well I guess What I'm trying to say Is there ain't words been made Could shoulder so much weight And if you turn your back on me And walked away Not a thing about the way I feel would change So, when uh, Ellie first met Harry, it was years ago on the Wicks at KC, and then Ellie went travelling. She's always wanted to go travelling. She went to Australia, and she went to the Thailand. The day we took her to the airport, me and Vicky's in bits. 
and she went skipping through as though nothing but care, no care in the world. Me and Ricky cried for about a month <laughs> until she came, well, she came home and then she showed me a photo from years ago when the first met at KFC. They'd been out on a night out and uh, she says, uh, this has just popped up, popped up on my phone. Uh, it's Harry that we used to, I used to work with. I says, right. She says, uh, I'm going to go meet him. I says, OK. All the way through, Ellie, when she goes out with her mates, they call it getting Ellie'd. <laughs> so every time she went out, I'd get my taxi out as usual, father's taxi. Take her to Ponty or wherever she was going. And we'd come home and Vicky and I would say, when's she going to find the perfect partner? The day she brought Harry to my house, we were doing backflips. <laughs> because, honest to God, he's a top man, top man. And I've spoke to Harry's mum and dad. They said when they met Ellie, exactly the same, that they were made for each other. So I just want to say now, congratulations to Harry and Ellie. And uh, the final thanks has to go to, of course, as parents. I say, without them, uh, today wouldn't have been possible. I say, thanks to my mum and dad for always being there for me, raising me to be the man that I believe Ellie deserves. And thanks to Vicky and Lee for welcoming me into into the family wholeheartedly. And I guess I should probably thank my beautiful wife, Ellie, for today as well. Everything you see here today is all down to her. She's grafted her ass off for the last two years, going through notebook <laughs> after notebook, planning ideas even down to making decorations and these napkins and numerous seating plans, thanks to all the late add-ons. <laughs> I really do believe that if two didn't have a 20 kilogram baggage restrictions, it would have been of old tables and chairs that you'd been sat around today. <laughs> well, the place really wouldn't look so perfect if it wasn't for how much time and effort she's put into it. Like Lee said, Ellie and I first met nearly 12 years ago. I was 16, working in my first job at KFC. I guess everyone has to start somewhere. <laughs> I was just a young kid who had a bit of a crush on his older boss, and that was all. We went our own ways, Ellie went travelling, and uh, many years later, Ellie messaged me to see how I was doing, and the rest is history. A lot has changed in them years for both of us, even down to the fact that now when Ellie asks me to cook and clean, I don't get paid for it like I did back then. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so fitting to return to this amazing place for our wedding. It's just down the hill over there, is where I proposed to Ellie two years ago. 
which until today was probably the most nerve-wracking day of my life. Looking at Ellie today, I can't believe how lucky I am to catch a rare glimpse of her in something other than her pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't believe how lucky I am to marry such a beautiful person, both inside and out. You may have noticed the song choice of Lucky Man for when Ellie walked down the aisle, which was my choice and my one and only input into the wedding party. After I had proposed to Ellie, and we told everyone, I remember one of my friends asking me why I'd done it, and it wasn't like a, why have you done that? Like a clearly disgruntled divorcee would have asked. Um, it was a genuine interest from one of my friends, and I'd chosen to make that kind of commitment. Now, I always knew in my head why I wanted to marry Ellie, but I never thought I would have to explain it to one of my mates. But I was honest, and I told him, I said, no matter how bad a day I've had at work or wherever, when I get home and walk through the door and she jumps up to greet me like an excited <laughs> little puppy, everything just does go is. I've never been around anyone who makes me so happy, makes me laugh so much and makes me feel so loved. And I'll, I'll, all I want is to be able to make her feel the same way. I know that saying you're my best friend is cliche, but with Ellie, nothing could be further from the truth. Ellie, I love you with all my heart and here's to a lifetime of love and heart. laughter. <laughs> You better not kill the-